हेलो एवर वन सो लेट सॉल्व दिस क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम लीनियर पार्शियल डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन सो वील यूज लेग्रांजेज मेथड टू फाइंड द सॉल्यूशन ऑफ दिस इक्वेशन इन लेग्रांजेज मेथड देर आर टू टाइप्स ऑफ सब मेथड्स दैट यू कैन से फर्स्ट वन इज द मेथड ऑफ ग्रुपिंग एंड इन मेथड ऑफ ग्रुपिंग ओनली If you are not able to solve, there is an extended version which is called the method of multiplier. So let's see if we need multiplier or not in this question. So how to solve that? First of all, uh, we have to uh, identify it from the format which we have, which is P P plus Q Q equals to r this is the basic format which we have now if you look at this form then uh, you can easily identify that your capital p here is y square your uh, capital q here is minus xy and your r here is x times z minus 2y accordingly we can write the auxiliary equation or subsidiary equation whatever you say that of the lagrange's method which is dx divided by p which is y square that equals to dy divided by q and that further equals to dz divided by r now let's see whether we are able to generate two equations from this given three ratios so first of all what i will do i will compare the first two so while i compare the first two i can write dx divided by y square equals to dy divided by minus xy i can easily cancel one y now if i cross multiply i will get minus x dx equals to y dy if you integrate both side integration of x dx is x square by 2 with a minus sign of course integration of y is y square by 2 plus a constant c now you can take this y square by 2 term this side so you will get uh, y square minus x square divided by 2 equals to c or you can send this 2 to that side so y square minus x square equals to c twice twice c you can name as another constant let's say that c1 so you have got one equation from here let's name this equation number 1 now uh you have to necessarily equate 2 and 3 you are not left with your option because here you see you will have three variables which you anyway don't want so you will have to eliminate x for eliminating x you can't go to first equation you have to put second equation into the picture so dy divided by minus xy is dz divided by x times z minus 2y so this will eliminate x will make a job bit simpler for me now uh, what as i can do is uh, i can just cross multiply if uh, it's fine so z dy minus 2y uh, dy equals to minus y dz it's not looking good for me except for this term because this term i can integrate easily integration of y is y square by 2 but this two terms are not looking uh, fine for me so let's collect the not so good looking terms uh, aside so you'll get z dy plus y dz and let's take the bet good term to the other side so 2y dy now what we can do uh, you know one uh, formula that we have uh that uh, her d of xy is 
x as it is derivative of y is dy plus y as it is derivative of x is dx so this is one formula which we use more often than not when required it's a very very beautiful and most important formula so we'll use the same here z as it is derivative of y dy plus y as it is derivative of z so this is nothing but derivative of yz or derivative of zy whatever you say equals to 2y dy now if you integrate both side now integration of d of fx let's say with respect to uh, x if you are doing or it it can be written like this also you will directly get whatever is inside that means fx it's that simple just d is removed so same thing here yz equals to integration of uh, y is y square by 2 2 to cancel y square plus a constant c let's name that c2 so yz minus y square equals to c2 this becomes your equation number 2 okay now uh, the final solution which we uh, write is phi of uh, this uh, u comma v equals to 0 you can uh, name this uh, to be equal to u also and this to be equal to v also so phi of u comma v equals to 0 so phi of uh, y square minus x square comma yz minus y square equals to 0 this becomes your final answer and if you solve this uh, sorry if you want to make uh, equation from this you can uh, reach up till here so I hope you understood this question. This was Lagrange's uh, linear partial differential equation. We just uh, found the value of P, Q and R. Then uh, this was our auxiliary or you say subsidiary equation. Uh, this was method of grouping which we use. We don't need method of multiplier in this particular question. That's it from my side. Thanks and have a very very nice day. I hope it was a uh, simple looking problem for you you understood this uh, important uh, d of xy is x as it is derivative of dy uh, just seems uh, as if it's uh, was product rule only uh, you uh, take one thing as it is you differentiate the other thing plus sign in the middle you take the other thing as it is differentiate the what is uh, whatever is remaining Otherwise, uh, equating uh, them was uh, that simple. Uh, just cross multiply integrating of uh, basic integration formula like uh, integration of x power n dx you all know is x power n plus 1 divided by n plus 1 plus a constant c. These basic things uh, were used in this particular question. Finally, the solution is phi of u comma v equals to 0. u is this what you get from the first equation the fun uh, function of uh, 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 in here it was in terms of y and x may it may be in terms of x y or z whatever it is and uh, you get one from here so you write this uh, solution in this way i hope you understood it thanks and have a nice day